इस शेर को कोई मतलब नहीं इनको मतलब पैसा मिले कुर्सी मिले December 6, 1992, the day when the Babri Masjid fell and the foundation stone was laid for the Ram Mandir, a bloody battle followed, and Ayodhya surfaced on the global map. Communal riots spread across the country. Muslims were angry that a historic mosque had been destroyed, and some Hindus rejoiced as they believed they had reclaimed the Janmuhumi of Lord Ram. While the Hindus and Muslims fought over their faith. There were some notable others who celebrated the success of their plan. They were political and religious leaders who engineered a bloody, sinister plan in the name of Ram Janmuhumi. Cobra Post unearthed the deadly plan of the ring leaders who were behind the demolition of the Babri Masjid. This is Operation Janmuhumi. The Liberan Commission, led by retired Justice M N Liberan, was commissioned on December 16, 1992, by the Government of India to investigate the destruction of the Babri Masjid. The commission was originally mandated to submit its report after three months. but after 48 extensions and 17 years later the report was finally tabled in the parliament the liberan report found 68 people culpable for plunging the country into communal discord the cbi took over the inquiry later and charged cheated around 40 people and a saga of tales and theories followed over the years However, the real story and concrete evidence eluded both the Liberan Commission and the CBI. Cobra Post presents the real story with all its gory plots. The very actors narrate the story, and you are watching Operation Janmabhumi. Cobra Post associate editor K Ashish approaches 23 of those accused in the Babri Masjid demolition case. 16 of these had earlier been indicted by the Liberal Commission of Inquiry, out of which 12 have also been charge sheeted by the CBI. The rest escaped the Liberal Inquiry but surfaced in the CBI charge sheet. In effect, K Ashish approaches 19 of around 40 persons charge sheeted by the CBI. to get to the bottom of the conspiracy behind the babri masjid demolition sakshi maharaj who was the bjp mp in 1992 sadvi uma bharti the fire brand bjp leader dharmendra singh gujar from bajrang dal Ramesh Pratap Singh from the Vishwa Hindu Parishad Santosh Dubey president of the Shiv Sena in Faizabad Mahant Ram Vilas Vedanti leader of the Sant Samaj and former BJP MP Ram Ji Gupta caretaker of the Ram Janmabhoomi Nyas Pavan Pandey the former Shiv Sena MLA 
जय भगवान गोयल द नॉर्थ इंडियन प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ द शिवसेन पी एल शर्मा प्रेम हु वॉज देन अ बीजेपी एम पी स्वामी नृत्य गोपाल दास प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ श्री राम जन्मभूमि न्यास आचार्य धर्मेंद्र देव मेंबर ऑफ द धर्म सांसद महान अवैधनाथ फ्रॉम द हिंदू महासभा जयबान सिंह पवैया ऑल इंडिया जनरल सेक्रेटरी ऑफ द बजरंग दल साध्वी रितंबरा फ्रॉम द संत समाज कल्याण सिंह हु वॉज द चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ यूपी इन नाइनटीन चंपत राय बंसल फ्रॉम द विश्व हिंदू परिषद विनय कटियार नेशनल प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ द बजरंग दल सतीश प्रधान फ्रॉम द शिवसेना मुरेश्वर सावे फ्रॉम द शिवसेना प्रकाश शर्मा फ्रॉम द बजरंग दल लल्लू सिंह फ्रॉम द बीजेपी एंड ब्रिजभूषण सिंह हु वॉज देन द बीजेपी In conversation with the Cobra Post reporter, these accused persons give their most candid testimony that has eluded the Liberal Commission and the CBI. They give their own account of the sordid tale, much like the parable of the blind men and the elephant. The plan to demolish the Babri Masjid was in the making for many years. The first attempt was rendered unsuccessful by the Mulayam Singh government. However, the demolition of the mosque on December 6, 1992. was accomplished with phenomenal secrecy armed with flawless military style training and employed potent weapons Cobra Post exposes the master plan of the demolition of the Babri Masjid through the very men and women who prepared its blueprint you are watching operation janmabhoomi Sakshi Maharaj describes how some car sevaks were strategically allowed to die for the Ayodhya movement to survive. Ram Vilas Vidanti and Jay Bhan Singh Pawaiya narrate how Kalyan Singh was completely aware of the demolition plan and how the timing of his resignation was remote controlled by the BJP leaders. Vidanti mentions that he personally administered the sankalp to demolish the Babri Masjid and senior leaders were present on the occasion. Dharmen Singh Gujar was once an ardent car sevak but now he is an angry man he says that the leaders of the time manipulated the car sevaks to their own deaths under the garb of hindu nationalism dharmendra gujar makes a shocking revelation he says that a suicide squad was set up to ensure the demolition of the babri masjid santosh dube says lk advani is considered the god of hindus but in reality he is a liar He reveals a secret meeting that was held just a little before December 6, 1992. The agenda of the meeting was to discuss the demolition of the Babri Masjid and the meeting was attended by leaders such as LK Advani, Mulli Manohar Joshi, Vinay Kathiar, Uma Bharti, Ashok Singhal and many more. Ram Ji Gupta confirms the formation of the Lakshman Sena and says that the entire credit for the demolition of the babri masjid should go to this lakshman sena ramesh pratap singh admits to being part of the lakshman sena and reveals the nature of training that was given to 38 car sevaks in sarkhej in gujarat engineers and architects were consulted a mock drill organized in ayodhya prior to december 6 and implements were provided to reduce the structure to debris Jay Bhagwan Goel tells us that there were several meetings with the Shiv Sena chief Bal Thakre where the blueprint for the masjid demolition was fine tuned. He confirms the backup plan of using dynamite in case all efforts failed. Goel confirms the backup plan of using dynamite to blow up the mosque. Mahant Nritya Gopal Das says that LK Advani wanted the mosque to be demolished but the demands of his political stature made him adopt a politically correct position. Champat Rai is happy that with the demolition of the Babri Masjid the mythological Ravan has been put to sleep 
the car sevaks did not manage to demolish the babri masjid pavan pande reveals how dynamite was part of plan b in case the car sevaks did not manage to demolish the babri masjid mahant avedanath criticizes lk adwani for his double standards avedanath and some others also reveal that the then prime minister pv narsimha rao was aware of the plan to demolish the mosque pl sharma shatters the blind belief that the idols of lord ram magically appeared inside the babri masjid he along with some others had placed the idols inside the mosque way back in 1949 these are just some of the shocking revelations that cobra post has discovered operation janmabhoomi reveals the lies and deceit of the political and religious leaders that made a mockery of the religious sentiments of the people of india you are watching operation janmabhoomi लोग नष्ट हो जाएं इससे इनको कोई मतलब नहीं इनको मतलब पैसा मिले कुर्सी मिले